So let's go into some objections. Uh, so uh, one popular objection to the PSR is that it undermines free will. Um, yes. How would you? So this does that? get. Yeah, it does get to it again. Back to this issue about how to understand explanation. So if you go the way that we've been doing, in which I've said that things are not self-explanatory, right? Then, um, then. In order to then the, the notion of explanation we need is a notion of explanation which the explanation does not necessitate the explanandum, the thing it explains. It doesn't entail it, right? Mm -hmm. It just it just provides you with a reason why it should exist. Yeah. So in the case of free will, I mean suppose that I um, right now I have some reason to snap my fingers because I'm gonna make a point, right? And I'm able to snap my fingers and I'm free to snap my fingers, right? And now I snap my fingers, okay? Now, so I think that my free act of snapping my fingers has an explanation, right? Namely, I had the power to do it, I was free to do it, I had a good reason to do it, and so on. But do those three things, do those things necessitate that I snap my fingers? No, it's not like I lost the free, the free will that would enable me to not snap my fingers if I didn't want to. I could have made the opposite point, right? I could have said, uh, you know, I also had, I also have some reason not to snap my fingers, and mm -hmm. I had the power not to snap them, and, and so on. So, uh, so, so an explanation doesn't. Um, an explanation can be adequate or sufficient without entailing the thing that's explained. Um, Elizabeth Anscombe actually makes this point in, in her uh, inaugural real lecture about uh, causality and determination back in, uh, I think it was 1973 at Cambridge. Um, she says, you know, uh, suppose somebody snaps at me, right, and says something mean to me. And I say, well, here's an explanation. They're irritable, right? And that sort of explains why they snapped at me. That's a pretty good explanation. But does that mean that that irritable person always snaps at everybody at all, in all, in all <laughs> circumstances? Not necessarily, right? Uh, that's not necessary. Um, so, uh, so all you need is something that's sufficient to produce the effect. It doesn't have to necessitate the effect in the sense that it doesn't have to be impossible for the thing to happen and the explanatum, explanatum not to follow, right, in order to have a good explanation. All right, objection number two, does quantum mechanics disprove the PSR? Yeah, so this is actually a very similar point, uh, I think. Uh, so suppose I've got an electron and it's moving towards these, the screen with two slits in it. Right? And it can go through the left slit or the right slit. And there's no reason, it doesn't have to go through one or the other. There's not, in fact, there's nothing that would determine it to go one way or the other. And I'll say it goes through the left slit. Okay. Is, that, is, that, is that a case where the PSR has failed? No, because there is an explanation for why the electron went through the left slit. Namely, it had the capacity to go through the left slit. Right? In fact, it had the probability of at least one half of going through the left slit. And that's a pretty good explanation. In fact, that's a perfectly adequate explanation for why it did go through the left slit. Now, if it had gone through the right slit, there's also an explanation for that. Namely, it had the capacity to go through the right slit, and it had, in fact, a probability of at least one half of going through the right slit. And so there would also be a good explanation there. And so in both cases, the explanation doesn't necessitate that it go through the left or the right slit, but it does provide us with an adequate causal explanation for why it did. So you realize what happens in quantum mechanics is things just don't pop out of nowhere for no reason, right? There's always a potentiality in the situation, which tells you exactly what could happen and even tells you what the probabilities are for those things happening. And those, those pre-existing conditions of potentiality are the explanation for what happens, are the, are the adequate and sufficient explanation for what happens.